Welcome to this training video. Here we will present how to define the different slope stability analysis methods and the failure surface options in our software program SNELL+. Plus. SNELL Plus is our software program for slope stability analysis of slope surfaces and it can also design soil nail wall systems including the short grid facing and the head plates. In SNELL Plus software we have implemented several different failure surface search options like the automatic surface search, circular surfaces with or without active and passive wedges, user defined failure surfaces and block type failures. In SNELL Plus, we can perform slope stability analysis using the Bishop method. We have implemented the general limit equilibrium method, Morgenstern price, and we can also perform analysis using the Spencer method. Inside the SNELL Plus software, we will select to open the model wizard, where we can define all the general project parameters, and this can assist us create the model really fast. Here we can define the elevations for both wall sides, we can define the wall inclination angle, the soil nails layout, and we can also select to include all the construction stages. In the other tabs, we can define the short grid facing and the head plate parameters, and we can also define the analysis method. We press OK, so the software will create the default model wizard project with all the construction stages and I can access, review all the different stages and change the selected failure surface method independently in each one of them. I see by default it is using the automatic search procedure in all stages and in the automatic search procedure we can access and edit the left and right search limits that are used as possible limits for the failure surfaces. The software will examine all the failure surfaces that pass from these limits and return as the most critical slope surface and the most critical slope stability safety factor. I will access here the right search limit and I can edit it where it starts and where it ends. So I will expand it a little bit and I will make it end at X coordinate 15 feet and this will expand my right search limit. I right click here and I will add a new stage and in this new stage I will go to the failure surface and I will change from the automatic search to use a circular surface. When we are using circular surfaces we need to define the center or the rectangle of centers for our possible failure surface and we need to define these limits and all these points on this green line would be used as possible radiuses. So I can access this green line and I can change the radius search limits and the number of increments. And I can also access the rectangle of centers and I can define its position, a number of steps, etc. I can also access this tool which allows me to draw a new rectangle of centers. So I will do this in this example, I'll draw a new rectangle here. I right click and I will add a new stage and in this new stage I will select the other tool which allows me to define a specific center. I can access this center and I can edit its pos exact position here. I will right click, I will add the stage and here I will change to the block type failure. In the block type failure we can edit the position of this limit down here and the number of increments also and the software will use all these points uh, as possible start points to do the wedges here and calculate the block type failure. I will right click, I will add the stage and in the last stage I will change the failure surface mode to be user defined surface. This allows us to use the user tool and with this tool I can click on different points on my model area. I can press the enter button from the keyboard and here I can define the exact X coordinate and elevation for all the points I added manually. I can press OK and this will be my custom failure surface here for this example. For the analysis methods, we can choose among Bishop, 
General Limit Equilibrium Method, Morgenstern Price, and Spencer Method. In this example, we will use the General Limit Equilibrium Method because this one can be used in all failure surfaces. Bishop Method can be used only for circular failure surfaces. I press to run the analysis. And as soon as the analysis finishes, this analysis checking summary table appears when I can review the most critical result among all stages. I can see the most critical slope stability safety factor, the maximum soil nail reaction, the maximum reaction at the soil nail head, the structural checks for the soil nails, etc. I can exit here and I can access the different construction stages and in each stage I can review the calculated most critical slope stability safety factor and the surface. In the final stage we can see the surface that was calculated using the automatic search procedure. In stage 5 we have here the circular surface and here we can see which point was used as the most critical center. If I press these contours, this allows me to zoom in and see all the different safety factors that were calculated with the use of all of these possible centers. In the next stage, we can see the failure surface. This is the most critical circular failure surface with this specific center and among all these radius searches. Here we can see the block type failure and the calculated slope stability safety factor. And in the last stage, we can see the slope stability safety factor that my custom failure surface produced. Visit our websites to review more information about our software programs and services. If you wish to arrange a free online presentation with one of our technical experts, feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching this video.